I'm just, <laughs> that, that was great moments in pedagogy class. I'm telling you, when you did speakers out, I just... <laughs> It's almost a recreation of my childhood. When did you do that? My mom does it, but my dad, he sat in on every lesson I had in high school. And so he was always the one like, Melissa, stand up straight. Melissa, Melissa, you're slouching. Melissa. <laughs> and of course, Ms. Dixon was just like, that's right, Melissa. Let's go stand on the wall. <laughs> OK, so. What do you, as the teacher, have to do in a situation like that? Ignore her. Well, don't I have the right to kick her out? It's your studio. Yeah, so I have the right to kick her out. Yeah, she has the right to not pay, but yeah, I was about you to say, also I'm paying your bills. Well, but you know, <laughs> honestly, yeah. given given the circumstances, you know, you either can teach with integrity, mm -hmm. or they can go some, find some other teacher. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to teach right. her daughter in this circumstance. Yeah. So this was one of our burning questions about how do you deal with the helicopter parent? Yeah. You know? That was my question. I feel like maybe you would want to ask the student to sit out for a minute so that you talk Ooh. to the teacher uh, yeah. alone. Alone, yes. Smart. Exactly. And yep. Maybe you could like ask them to write notes so that you can do your job That's and then review like it, it like at the end or something? It, it might work in a very few limited circumstances. <laughs> but most people who are really headstrong stage mom helicopter parents, they're not going to be able to hold it in. Um, I don't teach a lot of, you know, high school age kids. I have one mom, and she sits out in, uh, you know, my living room while I teach her daughter. Her daughter's homeschooled. Mom has been in musicals and things like this. Um, at the first lesson, I say, you know. If, if you would like to sit in and see what I'm doing, that's fine, you know, or I'll keep the door open so you, everybody's very comfortable, you know. And usually within 20 minutes, the, the kid is like, can we just close the door, you know. Um, and, and most parents are absolutely cool with it. But yeah, you know, you have to kind of play the my house, my rules if you've seen, you know, the King's speech. Um, it would be a rare parent who would actually be <coughs> happy to just take notes. But even then, their notes could be undermining what you're telling the student, yeah. and then the kid is seeing the notes. So. Yeah. And when the kid's practicing at home, they're going to be getting the same. Yeah. They're going to be, yeah. yeah. Most teenagers are going to be like, Mom? <laughs> or Dad? How did you handle it as the student? All right, I'm, my dad wasn't as bad as... You, yeah, you were way over the top. That was great. <laughs> wasn't as bad as, as Clarice um, at all. But, but my, my dad is he's educated. You know, mm -hmm. he has his degree in vocal performance. He did um, study for at least one year of his grad program at UNT, so he knows mm -hmm. what he's talking about. But um, I think a couple of times uh, Ms. Dixon had to say something. She had to say, you know, Gil, thank you so much for your um, for your comments. I really appreciate them, and I agree and I agree with you. But I really think you're distracting Melissa right now. And Good for her. Dad was able to to step back and be like, Oh, I didn't realize I was hindering the process by being sort of a know it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there were there were many times that she sought out his opinion because he was another ear in the room yeah. to yeah. hear what she heard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Gil, did you hear that? Didn't that work? And he would be like, Yeah. And they would be excited together. Yeah. So it was this, this really, this back and forth thing. Dad could make really great comments on my character when I was preparing for Nats in high school. Like, we, we had it was just it was a mix, and a couple times Miss Dixon had to say something, but mm -hmm. most of the time, Dad sat quietly and offered helpful things. How about you? Any? Yeah. She wouldn't. She always sat in the 
lessons, mm -hmm. and she wasn't musical by any means. Mm -hmm. She had had no training, had never been in choir or any productions or anything like that. And in the middle of lessons, she would talk over me and tell her daughter, Autumn, what she needed to do, or she would tell me where I needed to go in the song that Autumn was having trouble with. And it got really yeah. irritating. And at one point, I was like, I asked Autumn to step out Good. for a second, and I said, look, Shonette, you're not, you know, I respect everything you're saying because you're hearing her practice at home and you're in here, you know what I want her to work on. But in the moment, I feel like we're pedaling backwards sometimes because we're going over the same issues over and over again because we're not feeling like we're making progress based on what you're hearing. I just felt like she was causing roadblocks and we weren't mm -hmm. progressing at all. Mm -hmm. Autumn, I mean, Autumn and I never got to sing through a song all the way through once without Seanette interrupting. And Autumn never felt good about mm -hmm. what she was doing. She, she always was insecure about her high, high notes. Um, she was always insecure about trying a different language out because Seanette would take what I would say and run with it at home. And then when they come into the lesson, she would be, she'd be teaching today. over me and telling me where to go in a song, like where I should start the lesson with Autumn. So it was one of those where I had to send Autumn out of the room mm -hmm. and have a heart to heart with Shanet because it just wasn't. You should redo the scene. It was a good way to handle it. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, you want to do that real quick? What do you think? Melissa does. <laughs> okay, let's switch some roles around. Oh, okay. So since you've been the student who who's had a instructive parent. Uh, do you think you could be the parent here for a moment? I can try. All right, so you, you, get to, you get to watch. Well, That's you know who to, to do. you know who to play poker against because man, she's gonna <laughs> blow it every time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again, and I'm not going to laugh. Okay, C. Okay, Fa. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching one of those reruns of the Carol Burnett show, you know? <laughs> okay, I think this has deteriorated far enough. Uh, well, seriously, um, we're gonna do more of these role playing things. So it's good we get our giggles out because, you know, it's good to practice these things because they'll come up, they'll come up. It's, if you're teaching in a, in a studio, situation where they have kind of the open door policy of parents being you know able to come in and sometimes some studios don't let that happen but others do mm -hmm. um, it just depends on the environment um, but hopefully when you're in one of those kind of situations that you have the ability to for your own studio set some ground rules um, because it can be really awkward um, and dealing with the parent who, of course, has the purse strings and you're there trying to make a living, so, and they know that. Yeah. They know that. Um, it, it shines a light on perhaps the way they parent um, mm -hmm. when you see this kind of stuff. Um, but uh, particularly some kids, you know, are very headstrong against that kind of parenting. Mm -hmm. And other kids are absolutely, you know, absolutely. Some kids are like, shut up, yeah, mom. Crushed, crushed by it. So, um, <coughs> we we will we will 
we will see. But we, we have several more of these to do this semester, um, including one or two that are going to be really funny later oh, on. No. Given, are we given, to be boys? Given, <laughs> given, the, given the gender in the room, it's going to be very, it'll be very funny. Okay. So, uh, we're going to talk about piano stuff on Wednesday. And we might extend that into Friday since we kind of had a catch-up day um, planned for Friday. We might extend that. I mean, we that. should practice between now and then. Uh, that might be a good idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you win the Academy Award for acting today. That was really outstanding. <laughs> All right, that's it.